Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Port Fisherton, designed by Grimslow40. Now I've gone for the black tee at 7,317 yards. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, so the opening hole, par four, 449. Bit of a bit of an S bend there on this fairway. Wind off the right. It's quite a tricky drive. I don't really want to lay up. I think what I might do here is take some of the loft off so that I hopefully won't run too far now I will warn you in advance my standard of play has been gradually getting worse recently I've been really struggling on the the master difficulty settings so uh, don't expect any really low scores. I'm certainly not expecting a low score. So 133 yards, slightly up here, 134. Okay, downhill light is actually going to help me here because the ball's going to shoot forward a little. And the wind is helping ever so slightly. Oh, I've just noticed it's given me a pitch. I don't really want a pitch. Um, okay, let's rethink this. So let's change it to a normal shot. Let's drop down. We've got a gap wedge at 129. I'm going to increase the loft a little bit just to take a few yards off it. I've pulled it swing planes off by quite a long way. Timing was good though. And we've got a birdie putt here. Very little break on this. Just a, a subtle left to righter. It's a nice way to open the round. It's a nice feeling just to open the round with a birdie, I think. Now then. Okay, a lot of round bunkers here to avoid. 400 yard, par four. Okay, somehow I need to avoid the sand traps. Oh dear, another really bad swing. Well, I got lucky there with a the bounce, that's for sure. 79 yards, it's uphill. Can probably add on about five or six yards to that. I'm on an upslope as well. Right, let's try. Let's try this. a little fast and this one's downhill It's 
It's tracking. Oh, I've made it hard enough. You muppet. That's a chance missed. Okay, got a downhill par three. It's going to be playing about 190. But will that win to take into account as well? Okay, I think I might stick with the six iron here, but just increase the loft a little. That's a pretty good swing. It's one of my better ones. That needs to get down though. Sit. Okay, good chance of a birdie here. A couple of inches down here. I've got to be careful here because the last one I didn't hit hard enough. Fit that too hard, I think. Oh, it took the break. Four hundred and thirteen yards, slightly uphill. Pulled that one a fraction, but it should be okay. Eighty three yards uphill by about six. It's going to be playing about eighty nine yards. Hit it fast again. That's on the green, that's something. Okay. This looks pretty straight. It starts off with a a left to right break, but at the very end there's a slight not much though. I think it's gonna be slightly maybe left lip. No! Oh no, what an idiot! I'm really missing some good opportunities here. <sighs> okay, par 5 here, 580 yards. The only thing I would say, and I've, I'm only on the fifth hole, but the use of the round bunkers may have been overdone a bit. I think I would have liked to have seen some more manually drawn bunker shapes and maybe some different shapes used from the presets, but everything I've seen so far seems to be round. No. I need to figure out my swing. In the heavy rough. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to play this as a three shot and out. That's awful. Okay, I'm back on the fairway. Just over 80 yards left. Put a little bit of backspin on this. I don't want it to run too far. One bounce and stop would be ideal. Yeah, fast again. My pitching is terrible at the moment. Oh, come up short as well. Let's put the flag in. 
Okay, four inches uphill. That's a great putt. Well, I've birdied every other hole so far, but I've missed a couple of birdie opportunities along the way. Sixty-five. Let's go with the eight iron. Oh, I've hit it slightly slow. That's a shame. Ah. Okay. Let's see if we can put a good chip on this one. Light rough. No, 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 no. Terrible swing. Okay. Just a par. Seventh hole now, par four, 468. It's quite a wide fairway here. I don't think I'm going to reach the um, rough area straight ahead of me, so I should be fine with the driver hit. Twenty-eight to go. Okay, I'm going to go with the gap wedge, but increase the loft to about there. I've pulled it a fraction, but timing's good. Bite. Hold your line. Yes. Par five next. Five eighty yards. It's a relatively narrow fairway here. Oh, I've hit that one slow. I've missed the fairway. Actually, I've just noticed the fairway uh, does split. Okay. Well, I'm making a right hash of these par fives. Don't think I can reach that bunker. 64 to 73%. So let's just try and get it back on the fairway. I like the use of the buildings in the distance. It's very effective. See if I can put a better swing on this pitch shot because I've really struggled so far. So there's 81 uphill, so it's going to be playing approximately 85 yards. I'm going to hit that but increase the loft just a smidge. Bit better swing. Now stop quickly. I 
I don't believe it. It didn't take the break at all. Oh, man. That's really annoying. Two par fives and I've parred both of them. That's not good. It's a good swing. Wish I could do that more often. 145 to go. Up here, 149. Let's try that. Nope. Bad swing. Pulled it fast. Just crap, basically. Okay, downhill five inches. Uh, we'll go about, about there. A bit, a bit of left to right here. Mainly at the beginning of the putt. No, misread it. Okay. Here what we've got now, 430 yards. Got water over there, but hopefully that won't come into play on this hole unless I hit a really, really bad swing. Fairway does get quite narrow up ahead though. fat part of the fairway so that should be okay yeah 98 yards to go a bit nervous about pitching this because I've had very little success so far with my pitching let's try this No. Really, really bad. Ah, oh, hopefully one day I'll start to improve again. Now this looks quite straight. It's a slight double breaker, and by that I mean it starts off going right to left, and then as it gets closer to the hole, it goes left to right. So I'm going to aim straight and hope that they balance out. No, they didn't. Ah, oh, what a shame. That's a misread on my part. Okay, on to the 11th now. Par, par 3. Going to be playing about 145, but we've got... Breeze is helping ever so slightly, so I think I might stick with a pitching wedge here. Now I've hit it slow. It's made it to the green though. Not too bad. Chance of a birdie. But I would have liked it probably half that distance. Downhill. Too sure of the line on this one. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good pat. There's only one par five to come, and that's on the 18th. See, again, there's a lot of round bunkers. Okay, this is a long par four, over 500 yards. safely on the fairway it's about a hundred and just over 170 yards to go I think I'll hit the A iron here because I don't really want to go through the back of this screen if I can help it ah I've just noticed my stance ball below my feet slightly uphill as well hmm now is it worth going to a 7 iron increasing the loft a bit? Yeah, let's do that. Let's increase the loft a bit on the 7 iron. Pulled it a fraction, but if it catches that... No, it's gone long. Sugar, that's the one thing I didn't want to do, and I've done exactly that. Idiot. Ah, oh, that's terrible. I should have stuck with the other club. Okay. That part of the green there is all downhill. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put maximum backspin on this to hopefully get it to slow down when it gets to the putting surface. It's just run on a bit. It's always going to be difficult though. Trying to stop it on a down slope. Uh, it's a par, but it's a scrappy one. 13th hole, 400 yards, I'm going to be landing in a very narrow part of the green here, um, fairway here, it's going to need a good swing. It's not bad at all, Slight oh nuts, that's going to go straight in the sand. Okay, I'm not too far from the green, so hopefully I should be able to get onto the putting surface from here with a bit of luck. It's a good swing. That needs to sit down, though. Yeah, it's a good result, really, from the bunker. Uh, three inches downhill. Just about see the hole. No, I've misread it. Idiot. It's a safe enough par, but it's not a difficult hole, really. Even for the bunker, I was in a good position for a birdie. Uh, okay, a drivable par four. I think it's always good to have at least one drivable par four on a course. 
it's all about risk reward if you can get a good drive away and potentially hit the green you're looking at a birdie but if you're not careful you can get in trouble let's give it a go Oh, I've hit it slightly slow. That's a shame. I've avoided the bunkers. That's one thing. Ah, it's just run into the light rough. Sit. Yeah, not bad. So, hole number fifteen. We've got a dog leg here. Wind off the right is going to help. Just check to make sure there's no sort of shortcut on this hole. It doesn't look like it. Is it a bit of a draw? Not too much. Oh, I just noticed I've got a three wood in my hand. Let's just change that a second. Okay, again, a bit of draw. Oh, I've hit it slightly slow. This just depends on the bounce. Yeah, that's okay. It stayed on the fairway. 125 uphill. It's going to be playing about 130. Wind behind. It doesn't make that much difference with a sand wedge, though. So I'm going to go with a gap wedge and I'm going to increase the loft. Get down. Bite. Get down. Ah. Okay. This looks pretty straight. Okay, hole number 16. That's a nice view with the boats in the bay. That's really pretty. And par 3. It's quite a lengthy one. 219, slightly downhill. Going to be playing approximately 212, 213. But having said that, it's into a breeze. So it's not going to make that much difference. I haven't really got the right club for this. Four iron's not quite enough. It's not going to run onto the green particularly well. Three iron. I could potentially try the three iron with maximum loft. To that breeze might help. It's a shocking swing. Absolutely terrible swing. Twenty yards. I think that's too hard. Yep.
Okay, the penultimate hole, number 17, it's par four. 482 yards and it's into the wind. That's a really nice coastline, I'm just having a quick look. Yeah, I really like that. Really nice coastline. Now this is going to be a tricky hole. Could do with a bounce to the right. No, it's okay. 160 yards to go. Ball below my feet here. It's not a great swing. Too hard, I've hit it through the break. You stupid idiot. Right. Yeah, it's a par, but it was a scrappy one in the end. Okay, final hole, par five. What distance have we got here? Ooh, 611. Okay, and it's into the breeze. So this is going to be a three-shotter anyway, I think. I don't think I can get up there in two. So I could do with hitting the fairway. That's a bit slow. That's a nice backdrop. We'll have a, another look at that in a moment. Now then. Ball slightly above my feet. Wind off the left. It's a good swing. And a good result. Ah, now then. 37 yards now my partial pitching is dreadful so I think I'm gonna try a flop here maximum backspin it's a good swing spin yeah I got some spin off it That's a nice finish. Minus say it's not bad, really. I didn't play particularly well. I like the course. I must admit, it's nicely laid out. It's not particularly challenging, um, although the weather conditions were quite benign, um, so you could whack the wind speed up make the greens faster uh, my only slight niggle um, and it is it's only a very slight one is the fact I think the round bunkers were a bit overused uh, it would have been nice to have seen some different shaped bunkers maybe some uh, some bunkers created using the spline tool I think they were all created using the the standard brush tool but uh, the course itself I really enjoyed it I thought it was really pleasant 
So I would recommend you give that one a go. That's Port Fisherton by Grimslow 40. So uh, well done Grimslow 40. I enjoyed that. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.